Just like a lonely dude not doing shit during Christmas time, I was browsing X time or energy or wish to do it is the next f***ing day. Guess who forgot to actually start the recording? This guy right there. F*** yeah. Trippy. Good old 3JS, TypeScript, Next.js and uh, all that kind of good stuff. Obviously very unoptimized so that you guys can comment on this video and tell me what I did wrong because obviously you love to do that. 0.5 minus 0.5, 0.5, etc, 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 right? Something like this. Yeah. Looks like you cannot see shit on there. Did I save any lives today? Uh-uh. Bare knuckle fighting with my SSH key that decided to go to Pentagonia. It seems like I couldn't push anything to my GitHub for whatever reason, but ninth grade math, useful. Make you guys interact with it, push it to however, and become a millionaire overnight. Hello everyone. So I've been working on a robot for like the past couple of videos, right? And uh, with Christmas coming, I told you about that in my last piece of content, I will need to go back home and I need to put my teeth on another project. So why not going back to some good old 3JS, TypeScript, Next.js and uh, all that kind of good stuff? Right? Looking at me raging on my computer, developing so overcomplicated stuff because why not? This is my comfort zone, this is what I love doing. This is what got me into this technology mayhem that is my current career in life. But instead of just goofing around in 3JS and make just triangle moves on a screen, just like my dad loves to say, why not learn some new stuff, some new algorithms and stuff like that? So as I'm making this video, this is the first time I'm doing this, I am already done with what I would like to show you today. I think this is going to be a multi-part series, I'm not too sure but I'm starting to have something. First of all, the idea, the inspiration. Just like a lonely dude not doing shit during Christmas time, I was browsing X. I came across the work of this wonderful page right there. Tezumi, 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 Tezumi. There you go, with the, with the French accent. And uh, yeah, gotta be very honest, I just, I just love it. Like simple shapes, arranged in a certain way. And I don't know, I, I loved it. And I was just browsing around this fantastic profile until I came up to this, those things right there. And this is something I saw a lot in the past, just looking at different generative design arts and stuff like that. Recursive subdivision. And it's something I never did in the past. And so obviously this is something that is already done. This is done in P5, if I understood correctly, with the code directly on the site. But I tried to not look into it into too much details. And I was like, what if I can have some fun creating this, like coming up with my own algorithm and having fun with that one in 3JS and see what comes out of this particular idea. Obviously while trying to make something visually appealing and interactive because this is the web, right? A mouse, a keyboard, a browser for a bunch of something, right? So yeah, creating this, putting it on a URL somewhere, make you guys interact with it, push it to wherever and become a millionaire overnight. I think that's how that works, is it? Should. So yeah, by the end of this video, I will be a millionaire. So before jumping into it, we need to do a little bit of brain buffing on a piece of paper to maybe understand where we are going, right? And I might have a few ideas of how I could do this. Oh yeah, obviously this algorithm of like recursive cell destructuring, it exists everywhere. I'm pretty sure like I can find 25 different ways to do it. Also obviously asking ChatGPT, but what is the fun in that? I would like to come up with my own solution, obviously very unoptimized so that you guys can comment on this video and tell me what I did wrong because obviously you love to do that. So research time. Hi, this is my on vacation. I am editing this video currently and turns out I have no idea where the audio is for this part of the video. So. I'm just gonna try to explain to you what I did based off memory. So essentially the way the algorithm works is like you just take a square and you divide it in two, right? The way I explain it in this video is that I would have three way of doing it, just a point separated into like four squares, one that is like a vertical split and the other one that is an, an horizontal split. And turns out in this video, uh, since I didn't have neither time or energy or wish to do it, I just did the vertical and horizontal split of the square. Well, rectangle if you wish. And so yeah, this part was just me explaining this. And essentially you just divide until you hit a certain point where it's either too small or like the depth count, the maximum de depth count that you accounted for is reached. At this point, you just return an actual rectangle and you return its position and its size. That was like the idea behind the project. It sucks that I lost this audio because like first of all the composition I was very happy we had good natural light that day but yeah I think I think I fucked up I just didn't even click on the record button on my mic or whatever or just maybe I lost the footage I have no idea but yeah to come back on this topic take a rectangle generate a random number divide it in two either vertically or horizontally do that a bunch of times and just return a square in its position there you go simple enough right so 
we seem to have a plan and now it's coding time, isn't it? <clears throat> I would be using my next 3JS starter to do that. Um, I would be using, I'm, I'm pretending. Yeah, the code is already done by the time I film like this. You see this code right there? I did it in the past. And this is what you're gonna see very soon. Feels like a like a Nolan movie. But yeah, I used that. And uh, yeah, I came through some issues, if I can say so. But fortunately, I made it work. I made the algorithm work. It doesn't look like anything cute at the moment, but I am pretty happy with what I came up with. This little like subdivide rect uh, recursive function. But yeah, here is a few highlights of how that went. Guess who forgot to actually start the recording? This guy right there, fuck yeah. So as I was just saying, we have the function. We have the recursive function. And so the way I thought about it is that I'm gonna create an array of objects and each one of these objects is gonna essentially represent one cell. And that cell will have one A rectangle, which is just like a box with its size and a position so that I can later position it. And as we can see, when we run it, I think it works. Right now, I just implemented the um, one of the possibilities we talked about, the vertical split. And uh, I did. And as you can see, like every time one is generated with a position right there and the actual object itself, which is a three box geometry. There you go, right there, right? With the width. And here it is. Yeah. But right now, does it work? Did not work on a first try. Obviously this is like, we should see a square segmented into different boxes and like all of those lines going on top of each other, this is not what we want. But at least, at least we have the beginning of what looks like maybe something that works. If that makes any sense too, yeah. Yep, debugging time. I think I found it. I think I found my issue. <laughs> yeah. Close, close. Yeah, if you're gonna change that into X, yeah, for, for sure, yeah, this is kind of, yeah. All right, uh, uh, better, better, close, slowly but surely, what is going on? Problem in the offset. Okay, 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 let's stop there. Um, this, this, is, this is the point of the day where like, oh shit. Oh shit, forgot a meeting, forgot a meeting, okay. Hey yo, hello hello, it's the next fucking day. So yesterday we left off on a couple of different issues when it came to like separate from top to bottom. Turns out the math was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Like the main problem right now, the way I'm subdividing that, I am using 3JS's box geometry. And the thing is that the origin point of that is in the center of mass of the cube. Let's say I have a cube of like size one, the center is at zero, 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 and every corner are at a version of 0 0.5. Like this would be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, etc, 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 right? Something like this, yeah. Looks like you cannot see shit on there, can you? Hey. So I was just burning through the few neurons I had left, but uh, turns out I made it work, I think. So now let me actually go back to where I was exactly before. Boom and boom. Okay. What? Yeah, boom and boom. There go. Yeah, yeah, I changed from like a wireframe to like actual different colors, had a little bit of a margin. But yeah, <clears throat> I made it work also in the vertical axes. So now this means that if we just mix it all together, we should have something that is parametric and that works, should work. And yay, look at it, wonderful. So now I have a limit of a depth of five, but now I can essentially make it go as deep as I want it to be. Let's say with like a limit of 10, and I would like it to actually subdivide itself for, uh, for like, I don't know, at least five. What does that do? Fantastic. Takes a lot of time to load, obviously. But yeah, there you go. Isn't that wonderful? I'm very happy. Did I save any lives today? Uh-uh. But this is fun, for sure. This is not as far as I want it to be. But oh, oh that's fun over there. Can I? Wait. But, uh, 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 wow. Look at that. Trippy. Yeah, this is clearly not as heavy as I want it to be. But uh, yeah, this is a start. Like, I think we can have fun with those algorithms. Maybe. I think. Yeah, there are plenty of things we could do. Plenty, plenty, plenty. This is cute though. <clears throat> so there we go. It'll be cute, innit? And yeah, every time you reload, you have a new one. And yeah, I have a, a max depth that is pretty big at the moment. So like it does load in a significant amount of time. But at least like the idea is here. And, I, and I'm honestly, I'm pretty happy with what I came up with. Again, there is a lot of lines of code to do this algorithm and I'm pretty sure I can refine it. But over the course of a couple of hours, two or three, I can't remember. Or and also like bare knuckle fighting with my SSH key that decided to go to Pentagonia, it seems. Like I couldn't push anything to my GitHub for whatever reason, but we made it work. But yeah, this is what we have. And from this, we could do a bunch of things that could be fun. By the way, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm not too sure we'll push that directly to a Versal app or something like that. I, I don't think it's 
interesting enough yet. But if you guys have any idea of what I could do with this algorithm, please let me know. Maybe something involving the audience. I don't know how I would do that. No idea. But yeah, yeah. I think it would be a part two. If I can find something like interesting to do with this, I, I think it would be a part two. But yeah, it was very fun to code. Honestly, the, the, the most fun part was coming out with the algorithm and it was very basic algebra to be able to position different rectangles, well, boxes to be exact. And yeah, it was just like trusting the process of the numbers and then just implementing that with JavaScript. And seeing that that works, this is, this is cute right there. So yeah, it turns out ninth grade math, useful. And I love how like recursive function, they make your brain work in a different way. Now you are used to do with like this functional method of like everything going one by one or whatever. This like depth of a function going into itself. I don't know, it, it tickles my brain in that particular way that I like, I like it. But yeah, as usual, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had some fun. This is a good little break from me working on a robot that will for sure send me to the hospital again. But apart from that, have a fantastic quest. Dude, but apart from that, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I see you all soon on the internet. Bye-bye, everyone.